They'll start the drive with Harris. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. A gain of 18 on the play. And the Steeler first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Pickett will look to throw it here. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. Pickett looking to throw on second down. Slant pass complete, Najee Harris. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, it picks up the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryer move. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early. Securing. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. On second down, this is Harris. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Third and long for Pickett. He's got his target. That's complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. George Pickens, 41 yards. And the Steelers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Amir Smith-Marset now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. They go play action. Young. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Charles, 
already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Open man right side is sharp. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. First and ten, Young. Over the middle, hold in by Sharp. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. That's out quickly to Chanel. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll run here with Hubbard. And he'll take this from the 9 down to about the 7. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Again, it'll be Hubbard. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And the first play will be a field goal try. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. And this is up and good from Pinero. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is... Oh, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Off to the races. Najee Harris. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. He goes 86 yards there on the touchdown run. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boswell good. good with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From the end zone is Smith Marset. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's not talk about the different points on the board. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Young will set to throw. Short throw underneath to Hurst. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come out. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. For many teams, the valuation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run. As we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Devontae Casey. And the Steelers are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll be stopped just... the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Young to throw it. And he's got a touchdown. Six yards away, and the Panthers have cut it back within a score. Well, with this rookie QB, we talked a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there, and let's face it. A lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there.
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. This second and four. On the draw, it's Harris. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 119 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Pick it to throw on first down. His throw incomplete. That one was tipped in the air and became almost a 50-50 ball. No one came up with it, so it turned into an incompletion. But remember, on the previous drive, he threw an interception. I think that one almost caused a – well, not almost. I think that one caused a mental flashback for everyone. Threw the pick before. Could this turn into a second one? And how would that alter the game for him? Pick it. Going to bootleg it. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take it down. Pick it in the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. a play fake as they set up the throw. And pressure coming, and they got it once again. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is taken at the 18. 51 yards on the punt there. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Uh, Young here, you can see, changing the play. Now Young, throwing to start the drive. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing, Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. It's Young off play action. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they're going to have themselves in the first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 43. So with one 
one second left in the half. On is the field goal unit. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play, so they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Flash out of the locker room. They hit him with a gain of over 20. So one play, and they're already just shy. Young. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. But if you to give out a little applause on that play, it has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Young now from the 50. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Like what you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result. They call this play significant. Young looks to throw on first down. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. He found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. And Young's throw there incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down, then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. Young to throw on fourth. 
He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So they get the conversion on fourth, and now from the 25, they operate with a first and 10. They'll throw again. Young. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll take this in the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Chuba Hubbard with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's Pickett. That's caught. Allen Robinson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Pickett now on first down. A short one there to Fryermuth. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's third and three. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Panthers will get the football back. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from the end of the time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going. And above all, ball secure. Don't turn it over. Young now. He gets this one to Hubbard complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two short. Well, good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Sheds off the tackle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. This one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the end zone is Smith Marset. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. 56 yards rushing for him now to this point. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And they're going to have themselves another first. No! As the tackle's made at the Steelers 32 yard line. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Second down, eight yards to go. Here's Young. And this is incomplete. He's unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. LaVisca Chanel, 30 yards. And the Panthers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Now, after 
After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Pickett to throw. He's got Pickens complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw into the hands of Pickens. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Now second down and a few inches. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. This is first and ten. Here's Pickett. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Now Pickett. It's complete to Robinson. Now he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. Now first and goal. Looking to throw here. Pick it. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Well, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. So after the loss of down, they'll come up here with a second and goal. Pick it to throw. Escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, able to keep leverage, and able to keep people away. This is a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. That swung out wide to Harris. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with 13 seconds left to play. Going for it on fourth down. Here's Pickett. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. 